Spirit Week 2017 preview. And now for your Spirit Week schedule. Monday, Pajama Day, Hallway Decorating, Powder Puff Volleyball and Football. Tuesday is Squad Day and the Walk Cool Contest. Wednesday, Class Color Day, Frozen T-Shirt Contest. On Thursday, Character Day, Elimination Ball Round 1, and Banner Judging. And on Friday, it is Rebel Day, Simon Says, and the Pep Rally. Here is the Pep Rally schedule of events. Alma Mater, Musical Chairs, Tug of War, Powder Puff Cheer, Lip Sync Battle, and the Canned Food Drive Finale. Now for your scoring details. 400 points for the Powder Puff events, banners, and hallway decoration. 200 points to the winners of the Daily Games and Pep Rally Games. 300 points to the winner of the Alma Mater, and 100 points for the Daily Dress Up winner. 200 points for Squad Day, 100 for Teachers, and last but not least, one point per can for the Canned Food Drive. Now let's meet your class presidents for these important messages. First, Gideon Mosser, freshman president. To participate and to absolutely do not mess with other classes' decorations. I think we're going to do better than the other freshman classes have. We're not going to get first place, but maybe like third or second. Adam Davis, sophomore president. Be enthusiastic during the Spirit Week and try putting your best foot forward in all the games and activities if you're in them. I feel like we can win it this year. If not, then at least second. That's what I'm going for. Maggie Robertson, junior president. Let's stay dedicated, stay true to who we are, and have a better spirit week than last year. Hopefully not last, but just kidding. I think we can get second. <laughs> Ivy Scoville, senior to president. To the senior class, my people. Um, I just, I want to hype them up. I want to uh, let them know that I'm proud of them no matter what happens, um, that I love them, and I wish us the best, and fingers crossed for that repeat. <laughs> um, I don't want to be over optimistic, but I'm hoping we get first. Uh, if we get anything less than that, it'll be my head <laughs> on a stick, so <laughs> there's that. And now, these words from your Spirit Week coordinator, Mrs. Janice Schimmel. So, I expect it to be a lot of interesting costumes and a lot of cool decorations for the hallways. The classes have really interesting themes this year. Dress-up days, we need to make sure everybody remains school-appropriate. We still need to know who you are, so if you have a mask, you can have it, but you just can't wear it through the hallways all day. Um, we need to make sure Powder Puff cheerleading and the lip-sync battle stay school-appropriate. Uh, for lip sync battle, we need your song to be approved before you do it. Um, the hallway decorations is another thing that I think everybody needs to know about since it's going to be a change this year. You can only decorate for that hour during lunch on Monday. When you pick your squad, I would think you'd want to keep it within your same class because whatever squad wins, is going to, the points are going to go to whatever class is the majority of that squad. So if you have a mixed set, if you have seniors and juniors, whichever has the most in that squad are going to get the points. If you're not following the rules and we have an issue, then it will be announced if your class is disqualified from that event. It's going to take something pretty serious to get disqualified from the entire week. A lot of students forget the canned food drive. You get one point for each canned food item that you bring in and it's up to 300 points. So freshmen would need to take theirs to Mr. Knotts' room, sophomores can bring theirs to me, uh, juniors take theirs to Mr. Durr, and seniors go to Mrs. Doak. So banners will be judged on spelling and whether or not it's aesthetically pleasing, whether it's not, whether it's pretty. Um, it can be projected and traced, that's okay. Um, and we'd like for it to relate to your theme and you do not have to cover the entire piece of paper. Um, so I think it'll be a, a really, really fun week. And now for these words from your guidance counselor, Mrs. Wagaman. Um, make sure that you participate because it's a once in a lifetime thing. We have a lot of different things going on, so try to be as active as possible. 
Also make sure that uh, you're asking for all the information for the week so you know how to dress up. And know that your teachers are going to support you throughout the week, so it's going to be goofy and fun and probably one of the best weeks of the semester. And now for sports. Welcome to ESPN 8 The Ocho Spirit Week Edition. I'm Sam Summers. And I'm Stephen Arnett. We have some exciting matchups coming up this year, isn't that right, Sam? Right you are, Stephen. It's exciting to see everything we have coming up. The big storyline going into this, last year the junior class, the class of 2018, pulled a huge upset over last year's seniors. And do you think they can pull off a repeat this year? Maybe, I don't know. The uh, freshman class is pretty big, so they may be promising. Yeah, the, the senior class does have a very small class, but they have a very powerful class. So I think it'll be very interesting to see what they can do this year. Uh, we have in the studio with us today, Mr. Hodges, our resident Spirit Week expert. Mr. Hodges, come on in. Welcome to ESPN 8, The Ocho. Good having you here with us. Thanks for having me. All right. What is your expert prediction of who's going to win this year? Well, since I kind of run the pep rally for this, I have to kind of be impartial. But if I was going to pick a class that I thought was really going to win, I would say it either is going to have to be the junior or the senior class. What makes you say the junior class? Because all they're good at, they've proven, is getting disqualified from every possible event. Well, as we saw last year, the junior class pulled that good upset against the senior class and so juniors are always up to beat the seniors and they always pull out all the stops to do it so I would never count them out. All right do you think that the junior class finally learning how to sing the alma mater will have a big impact? That's always a good thing to be able to sing your school's alma mater but I think even if they don't pull that off I still think they have a good chance but I still wouldn't count out those sophomores and freshmen either as you said the freshmen are, have a very big class. All right do you have anything to add there Stephen? I think I do. All right, Mr. Hodges, thanks for coming in with us. Thanks for having me. This concludes your Spirit Week preview. Good luck, and remember, we are all Ritchie County Rebels.